back to my channel. My name is Chelsea for anybody who is new here and I am super glad you all are here with us today because we have been working on something super special. Um, we have been redoing the kids bathroom for the past week, week and a half and um, we did it in Pirates of the Caribbean. So we are super excited to show you all. We still have a few things left to do in there. Um, we need, still need to put a shelf up and Caleb's going to build a little hamper for the kids to put their clothes in, but for the most part, it's done. So I'm going to hop right into it and show you all the bathroom. Hope you all enjoy. Hold on, sissy. Now let him cut off the edge. Man, that drywall guy.
So after we put our chestnut stain on the 1x6, we made sure to place screws where the studs are. And Caleb already knew where the studs were because he marked them on the floor beforehand. But um, this was important for us because I planned on putting a shelf above it just like I did in the laundry room. And then of course we just went through and caulked all of the seams that way it looked nice and neat. And finally, time to add some paint to these walls. I am so glad that I chose black. I really was itching to paint something this color and I'm so glad that we done the bathroom in it. <laughs> and I think I finally got it out of my system <laughs> by painting the whole entire bathroom. But you know, I think it looks good and it goes good with the theme. So normally I just roll the paint on the beadboard, but with this black, I really wanted to make sure that we got into the grooves of it. And plus this paint, I don't know what it is, if it's because I got a semi-gloss and I normally use flat, but it was super thick and had the texture of like tar almost. Like it was just crazy how much of a difference it is than the paint that I normally use. As you can see in the video, it was really thick. So we wound up painting it with the brush at first and then especially with the B board and then we went back over it with the roller and then we just done a roller on the rest of the room. Alright guys, so we got the first coat on the bottom and now I don't know if I want to do the top or just leave it. I really want to paint the whole thing black. <laughs> what do you think Caleb? No? I don't know. Let me look at it for a minute. That's what it looks like from this side. I don't know. Guys. I mean, it looks alright. With the white wall. I like it. I could live with it. But. I think we either go big or go home. 
do it. Yeah, I think we go home then. We go home. <laughs> now, Caleb, is that in my nature? It should be. <laughs> but is it? Most of the time, you wish it was. <laughs> After the fact. After the fact? Yeah. Well, sometimes I just gotta learn my lesson the hard way. Well, I'm telling you right now, hmm. I can't fix black paint. Mm. Without priming it all white again. You know, a lot of things prime it all white again. Okay, let's switch out the shower curtain and let me see what it looks like with the shower curtain. Okay? Okay. Alright. You ready? Okay. I'm gonna say, to be completely honest, what? You probably need to do the other half of this wall black, the bottom half. The bottom half? Mm -hmm. Just the bottom half? I think we should just do it all black. That's too much. Why? We don't... That's too much. I don't think it you is. I want a wow factor, Caleb. You I want to wow. The mirror. Yeah, I got my other uh, mirror out in the car. If you do the whole room black.
being a smart little cookie. Yeah, get it all the way on there. And then just take the back off of it. <laughs> My idea was wonderful. Pretty smart, eh? Savvy. <laughs> so, as some of y'all know, the closest store to me is the dollar store. And I wanted some type of fabric to hang up underneath the vanity to hide the pipes and whatnot. So, I was at the dollar store and I didn't want to go all the way to Walmart because it's like 20 minutes away. And so, I seen this roll of garden weed fabric. It's what you use in the gardens to keep, or the flower beds to keep the weeds out. So, I picked me up a roll of that and we hung it up there with command strips. And yes, it's a little see-through, but since the bathroom is like completely black, you can't, you can't really see anything up underneath there. So, it worked out great. And it was only $5. So I got a set of 12 of these flameless candles. They're remote controlled. I got them off Amazon and I just love them. I think it totally set the mood for the room. And then I got six of these towels from Walmart. They were on sale for $3.50 each. And of course, I've got to put my wonderful picture of Carson meeting Jack Sparrow at Disney World. So after I decided to do Pirates of the Caribbean for their bathroom, I remembered seeing some pirate nautical things from the flea market when I went a couple of weeks ago for my birthday and I actually remembered seeing this platter there so I actually went back to the flea market and surprisingly it was still there and I got it for six dollars and I got those black candlestick holders from my sister and I got this compass from Amazon, which is actually really cute because it has a poem on the back, The Road Not Taken. So I thought that would be super cute to display in their bathroom as well. I also found this cute little ship for $3 at the flea market. And these shells are from the beach where we went to Myrtle Beach a couple of years ago. And the boys picked them up. And we actually wound up saving them. So I thought it would be a good place to display them. And this adorable little clock also came from the flea market. And I want to say it was um, listed at about $10. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And it went with the bathroom. And then I got those candlesticks from my sister. The skull and hourglass came from Amazon. Found this cute little picture at the flea market for $4.50. And just shoved some flowers in there. I'm pretty sure it either came from Hobby Lobby or Walmart. And what would be a Pirates of the Caribbean room if we didn't have a set of keys that the little pirates couldn't reach? <laughs> this is actually Caleb's idea. He was quite proud of himself. <laughs> I got this sign off of Amazon for probably $10, I think it was. And the little treasure chest was $15, I think. And I've actually found that bottle at the flea market for $5. So I told y'all I had a few things left to do in here. And this is a shelf that we'll probably have to cut down a little bit. But we're going to put it above the toilet. 
and then Caleb's going to build a little cabinet slash shelf area right here to put their towels in. Probably something like this, maybe a little bigger, um, or we might build a couple of these out of pallet wood and stick those over there. And then I found this little hook at the flea market for $5. I'm going to put it on the back of the door, which will be in the next video. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and if you like this type of content, please hit that like and subscribe button because it really helps us out and we will see you all in the next video. Y'all stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.